And Pat Patterson, the rare appearance as well, donning the tights against King Kong Muska. And then, truly a one of a kind, the animal. George the Animal Steel locking up with Bob Backlund, the World Wrestling Federation champion. Our guest now, Fred Blassie. Mr. Blassie? Gonna be a busy man that night, McMahon. Yes. First, we're gonna take the title away from Morales. Intercontinental title, I figure he's had it long enough. My man beat him before, and he'll do it again. Anytime he gets that little pipsqueak in the ring, my man will squash him like a grape. And then we're gonna go out for that world title of Bob Backlund's. That's the one that I want more than, I said I, not once, I said a thousand times, more than life itself. That is the major title in the world. And I guarantee you, Bob Backlund, I've got the man that can also squash you like a grape. Here he is, George the Animal Steel. Hey, the title's ours, Daddy. Hey! Blasty, you did it, baby. You said you would and you did it. Hey! <sighs> Gonna be fun, Daddy. When George it's is happy, be fun. I'm happy. To keep George happy, all I gotta do is get him fellas like Bob Backlund. He loves to destroy and squash people. Can you imagine? On one side of the ring, <laughs> Arnold Scolan. <laughs> and the other side of the ring, Fred Blassie. One corner, <laughs> Bobby Backlund. Bobby, they call funny people Bobbies, you know. Huh? Bobby, and then George, don't come. You sit back, your heart's weak. You're an old man. Relax. Don't you come. I tell you, he's determined. He's mean, vicious, and you know that. I don't have to tell you what Animal Steel can do. He'll do it to you, Backlund.